Hello and welcome to day 365 of Dungeon 23, the series where we make room of a mega dungeon every day for a year. This is the last room and it is the fight against the wizard who has constructed this entire place. Hopefully it is a fun fight, but we won't know because I'm probably never going to run this. So... 200 HP, 18 AC, and it uses the Archmage stat block with some changes. Obviously, I just said the HP and AC are higher, but he also has three legendary resistances. So, if you don't know how legendary resistance works, whenever a creature fails a save, it can instead choose to succeed anyway. It also has legendary actions, and if you don't know what a legendary action is, at the end of a creature's turn that has legendary actions, it can choose to make one. At the end of another creature's turn, it can make an action. So, let's say the wizard, the party's wizard, I should say, has his turn, and then it's this wizard's turn. At the end of the wizard's turn, like the actual party of the wizard's turn, he could choose to make one of these legendary actions, and then he has his own action, and then the following turn is going to have, like, the fighter. He can make another one of these legendary actions, assuming he has the amount for him, because you have three legendary actions, and each one is a different cost. He could cast a first level spell as a legendary action. He can switch places with a creature he can see within 120 feet that fails a DC 18 con save, and that costs two. Because he has three per round, and they refresh, so he can only use them so often. And the final one is called Goblin Tide. Summons 4d6 goblins in a space he could see within 120 feet, basically summoning some backup. And he's going to have lots of backup because he has the Staff of the Magi as one of his two magic items. Staff of Magi, very powerful. I think it adds like plus two to all your attacks and saves. It has a bunch of spells built into it. We're going to assume it starts off with full charge. It does let you do things like plane shift, but I imagine this guy isn't going to plane shift because it's like his domicile and he does not want to be harassed. And he's not going to abandon it. Although... Maybe he would. The important thing is that the party should fight him and it should be satisfying to beat him. Him disappearing isn't going to be much of a satisfying conclusion. But it does do things like summon elementals and all kinds of crap like that. He also has something called the Amulet of Concentration. It basically allows him to concentrate on two spells at the same time when normally you can only do one. And when he is only concentrating on one, he has advantage on the save for that concentration spell. So the Archmage naturally casts Bark Skin when combat starts, and that's a concentration. But if he wants to do something like Hold Person, that's also a concentration. So you can't have, it's one or the other. But with this, he could do both. But if he's only concentrating on either the Bark Skin or the Hold Person, if only he's doing one of them, then it's with advantage. He has one where he takes damage. He rolls it twice and takes the highest one because that's how advantage works. And he also has layer actions. If you don't know what layer actions are, basically on initiative count 20, a special thing happens to the actual room of where the monster is. In this case, the wizard. He has two. You could only use one per round, and you cannot use two in a row, so it's going to swap back between the two. The first one he has is you roll a d8, and he regains a spell slot of that level or lower. And that is taken from the Lich. I was going to just have this guy be a reworked Lich, but there's too much weird stuff with it being undead, and I don't want to keep changing it. So Archmage base with a bunch of buffs. Obviously, if he has a spell of 9 or whatever, then it's not going to increase. If nothing happens, if he is already full up on slots. And the other thing is that all creatures within 30 feet of the wizard must make a DC 18 con save or be teleported to an unoccupied space 30 feet further away from the wizard, basically teleporting them back 30 feet. And it has to be an unoccupied space. He can't slam them into a wall and then have them suffocate in the stone because that just wouldn't be fun. I don't think I've given any save or die things in here, so we're just gonna keep doing that. And... That is the wizard. Obviously, he has his magic items as loot. 
and his spell books and basically that's kind of it because there's no point in giving any more loot because there's nothing after this like this is the end of the dungeon and the end of what would be the adventure all right hold on i have an idea uh let's see here when defeated every player character gets a wish there and then the party could just destroy everything with wishes once they beat the guy because nothing matters and they could do some crazy fun things just mess around because it's fun and it's the end of the adventure and the end of the series and the end of everything not everything just this dungeon 23 stuff i'm still gonna do D D stuff just probably not a lot or as much nothing as intense as this because god this whole thing has been exhausting but i did it i did it i did all 365 days i was hoping for a more profound feeling of accomplishment but oh well time to go start working on other projects if you want to see those other projects then subscribe if you are in the slightest amount impressed by this entire thing then like this video and like all the other videos if you have anything to say about this entire project or any suggestions for future projects that aren't dungeon 23 then comment them down below and go leave comments on the other videos too and i guess that's it for dungeon 23 so thanks for watching or listening i apologize for the poor quality it's not gonna get any better